Morning everybody. Welcome to your Louisville Zoo on this incredibly beautiful June day. Uh, thank you all for being here. I am incredibly excited this morning to hear some of the announcements we're about to hear from everyone that's standing uh, behind me. I'm John Walzak, director of your Louisville Zoo. And I want to thank you all for letting me be the Louisville Zoo director. It's a great job and a great facility and um, we're going to have a great, great summer. We've been a participant with the Summer Works program since its beginning, and we are thrilled to continue that partnership for all the incredibly good work that they do. Summer Works, the youth that work here, the, the Summer Youth Works program, allows us to have more enthusiastic young people helping us get the job done and helping with our mission to better the bond between people and the planet while building great skill sets so that these youth will be better prepared for whatever type of career that they seek. And this morning, I think you're going to hear some announcements that I'm extremely excited about. I don't want to steal anybody's thunder, but some of the announcements today are going to increase that opportunity for your zoo to have more youth out here doing more good things, and I'm extremely happy about that. Uh, it is my honor this morning to introduce to you uh, our mayor, Mayor Greg Fisher. Um, he has uh, been incredibly supportive of your zoo. I know he's worked really hard. Every time I hear you talk, Mayor, I hear you talk about Summer Works. Um, I'm in downtown Rotary Club, and every time you're there, you're talking to all those business leaders. Let's support Summer Works and so many other times. Thank you for everything that you're doing, Mayor Fisher, and um, we're looking forward to this summer with the Summer Works. Thank you. Thank you, John, and congratulations on your opening. I know your Zoom members are thrilled, as the public is, so appreciate the great work uh, that you all do. So last week I issued a call for our business and phil philanthropic communities to step up and help us meet a critical need. Our highly successful summer works job program for youth was certainly impacted by the economic downturn that was caused by COVID-19 pandemic. As a result of that, we had fewer businesses in position to hire summer works youth. And that's a challenge that we had to address right away because we know that summer works provides young people with critical skill building experiences and it helps them get on the path to educational and career success. We know that because of the data. And the study by the Kentucky Center for Statistics, which is a division of state government, verified that summer works participants are more likely to graduate from high school, more likely to enroll and stay enroll in post-secondary institutions, and more likely to be employed and stay employed than non-participants. That's great success. And that means that this program helps level the playing field for young people who are growing up in poverty or who lack the family connections that can be so important for landing that first job. So uh, given the pandemic and the marches for racial justice, we knew that we had to find a way to accelerate the program, to give as many young people as possible who need this program the opportunity to join Summer Works, get that first job, earn that first paycheck. We all remember how that felt, that money in the pocket that we earned ourselves. So today, I'm happy to announce that our compassionate community has come through once again. I'm excited to announce that the One Louisville COVID-19 Response Fund and the James Graham Brown Foundation are contributing a total of $1.3 million toward creating quality jobs for youth here in Louisville this summer, in addition to what we already had. So a huge thank you to the leaders of the One Louisville Fund and the James Graham Brown Foundation for their commitment to our city and to our young people, especially young people who don't have connections to get a summer job. These gifts will more than double Summer Works 2020 season budget and will help create 300 new summer jobs for young people ages 16 to 21 and a variety of local agencies and nonprofits will be able to hire youth to these positions, which will pay at least $10 an hour. The Louisville Zoo is one of those agencies that will be welcome, welcoming Summer Works participants. And as usual, John, I thank you and your team who have been amazing partners with Summer Works. Let's hear it for the Louisville Zoo. Our Louisville Zoo. Now, because of the new funding, we are reopening Summer Works registration for a limited amount of time so we can fill these newly funded positions. Youth ages 16 to 21 can register online at summerworks.org. So that's critical in terms of getting these jobs filled right now. Opening up for a limited time, please go to summerworks.org. 300 new positions. 
In addition to creating hundreds of additional jobs, the funding will also support two new SummerWorks initiatives. One is the SummerWorks Tech Academy, which will pay youth to develop digital skills by taking online courses and earning digital badges, digital certifications. Young people who participate will have the opportunity to earn up to $1,200 over the course of the summer by taking courses in software programming, a digital music production, video game development, business applications, and other valuable skills. This is an important part of our Future of Work initiative for the city. To sign up for the SummerWorks Tech Academy, visit summerworks.org backslash tech. The SummerWork Tech Academy aligns with all of our workforce development efforts, including the Academies of Louisville at JCPS, Tech Louisville, and as I just mentioned, our Future of Work initiative. I'm going to invite Chris Locke, the manager of SummerWorks, right now to talk a little bit more about the program. Chris? Good, good morning. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here this morning at the Louisville Zoo. For me, it's particularly a, a, a great opportunity. My, my youngest daughter worked here uh, when she was in high school, so I, I appreciate the opportunity that she had to uh, have her work, first work experience and what she was able to learn from working here at the zoo. Uh, I want to say, as the mayor was saying, thank you to um, the James Graham Brown Foundation, President Mason Rummel, for all the, the efforts she put in and that team in raising additional dollars for the Summer Works program. In addition to that, the One Louisville Fund. Uh, those dollars are significant and important. Um, I get to see the faces, along with our partner Youth Build, of the young people that benefit from this program, and that's important. And uh, it's very important for the public to know what these experiences do for young people. Uh, as the mayor mentioned, uh, with the two programs, particularly the Summer Tech Academy, we're excited about that academy because, um, as he was talking about the alignment of it with all the other initiatives that exist in the city right now, we're thinking about this as from a standpoint of relentless experimentation. Um, we don't have all the answers now about exactly every point of the program. That's part of what that relentless experimentation is about. But the opportunity for young people to gain these digital skills and get exposed to technology is significantly important. In the quest for equity, and greater levels of inclusion for black and brown young people, uh, particularly in those who are struggling. Uh, we think that this is an opportunity for young people to get deeper, deeply involved and also get exposed to careers in, that are gonna be high in demand right now and into the future. And so, as the mayor said, if you would go, we wanna get those young people to go to summerworks.org uh, backslash tech, and that's where we'll get our first opportunity to know you're interested in this program. It's also important to mention that uh, your participation in summer works, uh, as far as working during the day, does not exclude you from doing or participating and in increasing your digital skills capacity in the evening. So this is a kind of both and win for young people and their families. So you can, by day, work, earn wages that way, and then in the evening you can earn uh, wages, or uh, in incentives from working with to expand your digital capacity and so uh, again we want to thank the all the folks uh, there's a lot of people that were involved in raising these additional dollars for summer works uh, we want to thank the mayor who's been a champion for summer works uh, since 2011 and uh, look forward to a lot of young people signing up uh, for uh, summer works in the summer tech academy and that's why we've extended that registration so uh, please put the word out in your own networks about this opportunity. Uh, and we look forward to the end of the summer to hearing some really positive stories about how this has been advantageous to our young people in, in the community. Thank you. Youth Build is an extraordinary partner for us with uh, Summer Works by placing many of the youth in sponsored uh, jobs throughout the community in the summer. Lynn Rippey is their great CEO and is now gonna share a few thoughts with us. Lynn. Good morning. 
We are super excited. So every mama, daddy, auntie, grandma, you need to get hold of your young people and make sure that they get signed up for summerworks.org today to make sure that they get out into this community. Many of our jobs are going to be outdoor jobs. We're working hard with our partners to make sure that your young people stay safe this summer, that they're in positions where they're going to be safe. And um, so that's our first priority, absolutely. Our second priority is to make sure that they have an amazing experience where they are learning skills. And our young people are ready. I know they are exhausted being in the house and being cooped up. So it is time to let them get on out and get busy and, um, you know, or get some muscles during the summer. But the other thing I think that's most important is that we know that when young people build these skills, they do better in life. So we really, really need for you to get your young people on board, get them to sign up for the daytime jobs, get them to sign up for the Tech Academy, and make sure that your young people are ready for the world of work when it's time for them to, to uh, launch out there for, uh, for a full-time job. So if you will, and hey, you know what? The new money is allowing us to pay our young people $10 an hour. That is a super big incentive for young people. So please make sure that you let them know 30 hours a week, they can make $2,100 this summer. That is an awesome opportunity. Get them out there, let's get them ready, and thank you so much for helping our young people be who they want to be and who they're going to be. Thanks. Thank you, Lynn. The second initiative I'm excited to announce is the SummerWorks Fellowship on Civic Engagement. This is something we created in response to the racial justice protests, protests that we're seeing on the streets of Louisville and cities across the nation. 20 to 25 youth will participate in the fellowship, which will be provided a curriculum, research, and guidance from our city's Office for Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods. The participants will work on a project related to the impact of structural racism on our city, culminating with a report that they'll submit to my office on ways to make Louisville a more peaceful, more just, compassionate, innovative, and equitable community. The fellowship is part of our response as a city for the calls for racial equity that we're hearing from our streets and thousands of cities and towns across America. I'd like to ask Vincent James, our city's chief of community building, to talk a little bit more about the fellowship. DJ. Thank you, Mayor, and I want to thank the philanthropic community for just this incredible opportunity to give our youth this summer an opportunity to work and learn. I'm really excited about this uh, civic engagement fellowship this summer with Summer Works Initiative because it's really given our youth an opportunity to have a voice. One of the things that we've been seeing across the nation is we've been seeing protests all over the world. One of the, the most attractive and most appealing thing that it is young people uh, that are out in our communities and our streets that are protesting for justice. One of the things that Dr. Martin Luther King said that protest is the voice, is the movement of the voiceless, those who have not been heard. And we're giving our youth an opportunity to be heard. You know, one of the things that has been identified and known is the fact that when you have a social movement that just simply, social justice movement that moves people, that's simply a revolt. But when you have a social justice movement that moves both people and institutions, then you have a revolution. We have an opportunity to give our youth an opportunity to create a revolution in our community, in our city, by giving them a voice to be able to understand how the three branches of government works, what are the policies, looking at our budgets, looking at working with thought partners from across the country, civil rights leaders that uh, have marched in the 60s, and recognizing what is happening now and hear their voice and what does it mean for today's protest and how can they continue to push their agenda to just for justice and, e and equity in our community. We have an incredible opportunity this summer for 20 to 25 youth to be involved in this initiative. It's the first of its kind that we're working in our city and we're really excited about the outcomes. Uh, we've been working with youth and our youth implementation team in the Office of for Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods uh, for past several years. 
But this is going to be an opportunity for a broader perspective from various youth organizations, youth leaders that will have an opportunity to apply to be a part of this significant fellowship. Not only will they be getting the report, but an opportunity to, be, to hold us accountable as it relates to putting action to the words that will be on the paper that they will deliver. And so we're encouraged by it, we're excited about it, and we're thank thankful for our mayor who has the heart and the, and the mind to listen to the voice of our young people. Because truly, those who are closest to the pain are closest to the solution. And so he recognizes the fact that our youth that are close to the pain have the solution for what we need today to have a more equitable society. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share with you today. And thank you, Mayor, and thank the philanthropic community for your value-added donations that's going to be able to help over 300 youth, additional youth this summer that's going to have a significant impact. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chief James. So in this moment, we have both the opportunity and the obligation to address racism and inequity built into the foundation of the American system. Uh, we see it in our economy, we see it in our schools, our courts, our health services, law enforcement, and government. Some of these are long-term challenges that involve reform of our systems at the national level, and we must do that. But we also have to take action on the local level right now. And by supporting Summer Works, we're opening doors of opportunity to young people, particularly young people who grow up in disadvantaged circumstances. That's why I'm really proud of the work of Summer Works, the job done by Michael Gritton and his team, Chris Locke and his oversight of Summer Works program, all the team at Kentuckiana Works. I'm also really proud of the partnership with Youth Build and how we've been able to scale this program from the first summer of 200 kids up to now and at last summer over 7,000 kids and then the champion employers that we've had throughout the city that have really stepped up. And I'm grateful again to the One Louisville Fund and the James Graham Brown Foundation for stepping up to support the program and our young people in a challenging time. The James Graham Brown Foundation in particular uh, from the beginning of the pandemic all the way through today uh, Mason Rummel who's their chief executive has always been asking what can we do? How can we do more? Who's going to get the most help out of this? And she has been singular in her attention to helping more and more Louisvillians, especially those in need. So Mason, I want to say thank you to you and your board for just an incredible job for our city. So let's hear now from Mason Rummel, CEO of the James Graham Brown Foundation about her support of Summer Works in our entire community. So I've talked for years about um, what Mr. Brown was looking to do through the mandate he left in his will, and I talk a lot about the image of Louisville and the image of Kentucky and quality of life. But what struck me when I read the will again recently was words about the well-being of citizens, and if there were ever a time now to focus on that, um, given these extraordinary times and all of which has just been talked about so eloquently. Our board um, recognized that instantly, and we, when this hit, this crisis actually erupted, we hit pause on our strategic plan, suspended the whole thing and said, for now, we're going to focus strictly on COVID-19, the impacts of that, not just the health impacts, the economic impacts, and of course, everything else has followed since, since then with the racial injustice marches and, and um, the outcry of this community. We have partnered with the uh, Kentuckiana Works and Youth Build for years. I think we've been involved with uh, Summer Works programs almost since the beginning, maybe a year or two into it, have been extraordinarily pleased with the outcomes of that and, and how they work with, with the youth and provide these opportunities. When the mayor uh, said that, you know, we had a longer line of kids this year, we had more that were looking for things to do, we thought about how they had been sort of left in the lurch or sort of floating out at, since the schools had closed. And the One Louisville Fund, which I also represent, turned its attention to youth for the summer. And the timing was just perfect. As we were asking those questions, we learned about Summer Works um, plans for expan expansion. My board jumped on it immediately. This, this foundation wants to serve the well-being and help the well-being and quality of life of, of our citizens with equity, a, a central focus of ours now and compassion and in responsiveness. We have listened to the community and continue to listen. So 
this was a wonderful opportunity for us. We're thrilled to be a part of it. And so thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Michael and Lynn and everyone else involved in this. Thanks. Thank you, Mason. I also want to uh, thank uh, a person that's kind of an unheralded uh, champion that makes so much of this work uh, happen uh, behind the scenes without seeking recognition, but pulls so much of our uh, foundation community together and other folks that can help us. And that's Ashley Parrott here. Um, <laughs> Ashley's my senior policy advisor and also uh, over our uh, relations with our philanthropies here and foundations. And her singular focus is just how can she help the most amount of people. And there's just not many selfless public servants like you, Ashley. So I want to say thank you. Great job. All right, folks. So I encourage everybody in our community, foundations, businesses, individuals, uh, please support Summer Works. Uh, the outcomes of it are undeniable. Uh, the focus we have on low-income youth, our black and brown communities who may not have a mom or dad or aunt or uncle to help get them a job, uh, that's where you can help. And I'm really appreciative of the One Louisville Fund, James Graham Brown, for adding this additional $1.3 million to help both with tech certificates and a future path forward, but then our other public works projects as well for our city. So thank you to them, but we're still open for business, okay, so we can still Need, use more money. The more money that comes in, the more youth we're going to be able to employ this summer. So please go to summerworks.org and get more information on that.